We stand to confess our faith, the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, the light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In our prayers today, I realize I didn't uh, include the printed prayer of the church, so we will do an abbreviated version. Uh, this day we pray for uh, Delbert with cancer, uh, Dr. Yaden as he rehabs to prepare for uh, uh, liver transplant, for our member Donna and her recovery from stroke, and for thanks for a new great-granddaughter, April Sage. We pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent your Son to us even though many would be offended by him. We pray that you would help us to grow in faith in him and to trust in him that we also may spread those seeds of his word and his love to the people around us. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we pray for those who struggle with ill health, for Delbert, for uh, Dr. Yaden, for Donna, for others, we ask that you would be with them in their times of need, be with their family and strengthen them as they give support, and in all things help them to keep their eyes fixed on Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. Father, we give thanks for this new life in this world, for April Sage, for her family, and we pray your blessing upon her and the gift of your life into her life in the days to come. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks on this day as we celebrate our nation's birthday and pray your blessing upon our leaders, upon those who serve us in uh, the armed forces and first responders and all the other people who give of themselves for our safety. We pray that you would uh, bless our leaders with your wisdom. We pray that you would help us to live in peace with one another and in love for one another. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, in all these things we come asking in the name of our Lord Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. We offer our gifts to the Lord. Sing the offertory, page 159.
the Lord be with you. Thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and with Archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have had mercy on those whom you created and sent your only begotten Son into our flesh to bear our sin and be our Savior. With repentant joy, we receive the salvation accomplished for us by the all-availing sacrifice of his body and his blood on the cross. Gathered in the name and the remembrance of Jesus, we beg you, O Lord, to forgive, renew, and strengthen us with your word and spirit. Grant us faithfully to eat his body and drink his blood as he bids us do in his own testament. Gather us together, we pray, from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us. To you alone, O Father, be all glory, honor, and worship with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ on the night when he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body which is given for you this do in remembrance of me in the same way also after supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink of it all of you this cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as, of, as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. Come, oh, Lord Jesus. O oh, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, in giving us your body and blood to eat and to drink, you lead us to remember and confess your holy cross and passion, your blessed death, your rest in the tomb, your resurrection from the dead, your ascension into heaven, and your coming for the final judgment. So remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.